All right, so we're back on this uh, 2002 Lance uh, 1161 truck camper doing this uh, slide out brace. It's a wood wood framed camper and we're going to uh, shore up this uh, upright uh, to prevent the uh, infamous slide out sag uh, from the, uh, you know, all the pressure from the tie down to the truck. So I've got this, uh, there were, just some uh, wood screws holding uh, what's left of this pine brace uh, to the uh, inside uh, cabinetry bracing, which is just uh, like a one by two. And uh, I'll give you a little bit better angle here. So this is like a, like a one by three pine upright it went all the way up of course you can see it's all rotted out here on the bottom but it's just screwed into this uh, one by two uh, framing on the inside which is the the framing for the wall so there were just some you know a few long screws going through that i've got those screws taken out and i should be able to just pop the rest of this rotten wood out that's what's left of the brace that's about a two foot section and you can see it's you know really just nothing left of it so we're going to replace all that and then of course uh you know get our our new uh t-brace in there and i've got that right here like i said on the last video there'll be some 90 degree brackets that go that tie everything together so it'll be bolted into the to the new bracing that goes up here and then down and around under this jack bracket uh, because i can i can access the bolts uh, down in there uh, and then the same with the top up there is i'll uh, do a 90 degree bracket tuck it in underneath the aluminum uh, roofing between the roofing and the roof deck and that way it's all behind the trim and and everything like that um, but that'll tie all this in and make it uh, a lot stronger even stronger than factory so i tried to keep as much of this is just the wallpaper that goes to the inside um, that's the inside of the camper right there this is that that gimp trim um, but I will uh, glue that back in before I put my Baltic birch and my aluminum bracing in. But uh, that wood's gone all the way up to the top so I can get my new pieces put in. All right, so I got the front uh, corner jack removed. There it is down there. And uh, luckily, Wood looks pretty good back there, so um, it uh, it did get a little bit wet right here in the corner, but it's not rotten. So um, I'm gonna get some adhesive in there, get this uh, corner put on. Got the adhesive there. Get the corner put on and bolt it in. And um, I'm gonna do one more uh, angle bracket using that uh, angle galvanized right here and then about two feet back, and then another two feet back, and then one underneath that uh, jack bracket there. Um, so there'll be one under this jack bracket, um, two in the center, and then one under that jack bracket back there. So that should strengthen underneath this slide out pretty good as far as the floor is concerned. So we shouldn't, uh, when we're tied down, we shouldn't be pulling the floor down. Uh, or this uh, brace that's underneath the slide out or the framing that's under the slide out should not bow. Well, I had this uh, piece of Pacific U in the shop here and uh, decided that this would be a better lumber to use than Baltic birch. It's a, a little bit uh, thicker stock. It's actually uh, one and a sixteenth inch uh, stock, which is what the old stuff 
it was actually in the camper. It was the, the thicker stock. So it fits in this channel better. Um, I did add a little bit of adhesive uh, sealant on the uh, interior side. And then the exterior side, I left the channel open because this is where the, the phylon tucks into. And of course, then everything gets sealed up with uh, sealant uh, as well. So I've got this clamped up and a little bit of weight on top. So uh, once this sets up, I can get this uh, piece of aluminum mounted in the uh, on the side of the slide out, and then I can get my brackets in my uh, my T brackets and uh, on the top and bottom. That way, everything is is uh, fastened from the roof all the way to the shoulder. Uh, it's just got a good uh, rot resistance and bug resistance. So I think that'll work out good. I'm gonna pilot drill the holes uh, for my screws that go into the framework on the inside of the camper. Um, that way, you know, I'm not worried about uh, splitting the wood out or anything like that. And of course, there's gonna be a bead of sealant, uh, adhesive sealant uh, on the backside of this as well. Um, as it uh, screws into the framework that's existing, everything will be tied together and um, and sealed all the way down. All right, well, I was uh, working against time here because all this adhesive has to uh, set against the wood before, um, has to get up against the wood before it sets and dries uh, without adhering to the sidewall. So working real quick, but I've got all of the uh, the new wood in there, it's screwed and glued in. The new metal bracket is in there. I'm not sure if you can see. Well, anyway, new metal bracket that goes from here all the way back to here. These are just temporary screws uh, holding the phylon down while, it, while the glue sets up. Um, so that new strip all the way up and um, got the trim put back up and I'm gonna let this set up overnight and then I'll come back through and seal everything um, got this trim back up of course you saw these pieces that I put in these angle pieces that go way back there and uh, yeah we're gonna let that set up and then tomorrow I can get this uh, LP door put back on. I still need to staple this uh, poly compartment to the framework. Do that in the morning. Staple all this, staple all this in. Put the door on with the new seals and uh, and then seal all of the inside. Get the rack put back in. Slide out rack. And then um, yeah, I got the front jack put back on with the new uh, bracing that goes up underneath and on this side here. So all new uh, angle that goes behind the jack and then cups this uh, panel underneath so the shoulder won't drop anymore. So again, let that set up, the adhesive set up overnight and then I'll come back through and, and uh, get all these seams cleaned up reseal around everything, uh, reseal along the uh, shoulder trim, and uh, you know, I might as well seal these panels up on the sides as well. And of course on the top, reseal all that uh, trim for the aluminum roof where the roof tucks up underneath it. And uh, you can see, I've got my other T bracket in this area that uh, bolts to the that piece of hardwood. Anyway, when I can, I'm gonna let the pressure off of this jack. This thing's all uh, putting pressure up against the the bottom. If I loosen this up a little bit, you can see it doesn't move. No moving at all. So now the pressure's off and it didn't drop at all because I've got that and I've got that great big 
T-bracket that goes all the way up to here, bolts into this piece of hardwood that, that runs the full length here. And uh, out this way and out this way. It's about this wide. So it's uh, sun has set and uh, I'm gonna go in and get cleaned up and tomorrow morning I'll go ahead and get this door put in, get everything sealed up. And uh, I'm still putting the, uh, the slide out topper, do that. Uh, I think it's gonna be delivered uh, tomorrow or day after tomorrow. And uh, putting in a 100 watt solar panel with a 30 watt charge controller as well. So a little sunset there for you. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.